Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Welcome to another vlog. I'm honestly not even sure when this is going to get posted, but I figured I would turn the camera on today because there is something I'm going to be organizing later that I want to share with you all. So here we are. So anyway, happy Friday. I am getting ready to take the kids to school and then I'm going to Pilates. So maybe I'll take y'all with me in there a little bit, but we'll see how full the class is. Anyway, just wanted to check in. I hope you guys have been having a great week. Having a pretty good day. Um, yeah, yesterday was a little rough, but today it started out pretty good. So we're hoping that this is going to continue. So I realized that in these videos, I never share with you guys what fragrances I'm wearing. So I am going to try to share that today. So I'll have to go back upstairs to share with y'all what I'm wearing for right now, just for working out, but I'll do that for you all. Okay, so the fragrance that I'm wearing for now is actually a combo. I've been trying to try a few more little layering combinations. So I started out by wearing a Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. This is a vanilla scent that to me smells a little bit sweet and fruity. Um, so yeah, I applied just a little bit of this. I didn't want to go ham because like I said, I am going to work out. So I applied a little bit of this and then on top, I applied this lotus pear. And I really just wanted to come up with kind of like a fruity sweet scent. Lotus pear is beautiful. It's a watery floral. Um, the pear note is evident, but it's the kind of pear that I like. It's not too sharp. It's very well rounded. Um, so yeah, I apply these together to kind of give me that a little bit fruity, a little bit sweet scent that wasn't overwhelming. So, so far, so good. I've never done this combo before, but this is the one I'm wearing just for this part of the day. So anyway, um, I didn't address my hair. I'm sure y'all probably know what's going on, but I just washed it last night. That's why it looks like this. I haven't fluffed it out. I don't think it looks horrible. Like it looks fine for me to go to work out and stuff. Um, but normally like if I'm going like out and I want to be cute, I would definitely fluff my hair because I like my hair to be a little less defined, a little more like big, um, even first day. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to fluff it before I go work out though because it will get mashed. And y'all, if you've never done reformer Pilates or any type of Pilates, there is a lot of laying down you do. So my hair always looks a mess because <laughs> it gets flat in the back. And I already, like that is like, this part of my hair is already like the problem area. It's the shortest area. It always breaks off. Has been doing that for years. And so I feel like it just always looks a mess in class. But that ain't what we there for. We there to get the body right, okay? We get the hair right later. <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, getting ready to go. I'll see y'all in a bit. <laughs> Is that neat? I finished my class and I feel so accomplished, although it was difficult for me. So this was a control class, which basically is a mixture of Pilates and bar. So if you've ever been to like pure bar, or whatever um it's a mixture of pilates and bar so it's very heavily focused on legs booty yeah and um yeah it was, it was a little tough sorry i know my air conditioner is loud but it's hot y'all it was a little tough but i made it through so of course i feel accomplished because i made it through even though it was tough so yeah anyway get ready to go home go take a shower get dressed i need to film two videos today um so i'm gonna try to go ahead and knock those out and then i also need to like fold clothes and do stuff like that so yeah anyway that's what i'm doing today i don't know when i will see y'all again probably once i finish filming and everything and um when I organize the thing that I'm gonna organize and I want to share with y'all, I'll probably see y'all at that point, so. Peace. Gas tank on E, but all drinks on me. Wipe me down. <laughs> but for real, y'all, I forgot I had to get gas and I was on the interstate and my gas tank went to zero miles. I was like, oh, shoot. But I made it, y'all. I'm at the gas station now, about to put some gas in here. I just need to share this testimony. Thank God I made it to the gas station, okay?
y'all it's another day happy saturday i'm actually doing a squat for y'all right now because i don't want to change my camera angle <laughs> but i um, was going to organize something in my bathroom that i want to share with y'all so let's open this cabinet up and get to it this is going to be like my everyday upstairs makeup that it is time for me to um clean up so and reorganize and switch out some products so i figured y'all might want to see that so let's open her up All right, so we're just looking at this shelf here. Y'all, this whole cabinet needs to be redone. So we're just gonna add, like y'all can't see this part here with all these body creams and whatnot. It is time for the whole cabinet to be redone, but today we're just focusing on this shelf here, which is my everyday makeup. So this is the makeup that I use when I wanna get ready quickly or I don't feel like going to my room that has the majority of my makeup in it. These are just like easy reach products. So some of the stuff that I have here is going to stay because it is an easy reach product and some is going to go, but overall it needs to be cleaned up. As you can see, I have like extra foundations and stuff up here. So um, let's start with this side, it's easiest. So this is just an acrylic drawer system. I think this is five drawers. I can't remember where this is from, but I wanna say Muji, I'm not sure. I have blushes, bronzers, eyeshadow and whatnot. So let's just take this first tray, let's see this. Oh, this is an old blush palette that I think it's time for it to go, y'all. This is so old. This is the NARS Soul Shine palette. I'm not gonna talk through all this cause it'll take me forever. <laughs> But I figured I would share with y'all what I'm doing. So I do need to clean these drawers too. So I'll probably just take everything out, clean it, and then put the new makeup in. So instead of me sharing all the stuff with you as I go, I think I'm just going to show you the drawers and then I'll show you the after. Because um, I may not get a chance to finish this. My kids or Chloe is home. So, you know, I get interrupted all the time. <laughs> so um, in this drawer, I have some more blush. Have eyeshadow palettes, another eyeshadow palette. So on this side, this is where I keep my complexion products and my brushes. So right now my brushes are not in here because I just washed them. So they're actually sitting on the counter, but I usually keep them in this little um, drawer here. This is a two drawer one, but the drawers are deeper. And then I have like other like everyday stuff like powders, a concealer, foundation, that kind of stuff, primer. But yeah, it's just really time for me to clean all this stuff out. So I'm going to do that and then I will show you all the finished product. This is all the stuff I ended up trashing or back to macking. I mean, I'm going to recycle them through Mac. And then just a couple things we're just going to take downstairs like this beauty puff and these two items. I don't need them up here. I'm just going to take them downstairs with my other makeup. Hey y'all, it's been a couple days, but I finally finished my makeup. I just had other stuff to do, y'all. I just put it off, put it off, but I finally finished it. So I wanted to share it with y'all. I'm gonna do a close up. Forgive me if the camera is shaky because I'm gonna have to take it off the tripod to actually hold the camera. So just a sec and y'all can see what it looks like now. All right, so you can see I still have the same containers. I didn't fill them up or anything. I really don't need this much space, but I've had these for years. And when I moved them out of my beauty room years ago, I put them, I put a couple up here just to have makeup upstairs. Cause a lot of times I do end up doing my makeup upstairs. So in the larger drawers, I have all my brushes, beauty blender, and then my face, or complexion products, so foundations, uh, foundations, concealer, powder, luminizer. And just for the record, y'all, this is not all my makeup. If I was a normal person, this would be all my makeup. But because I'm not normal, um, this is just stuff that is like easy to use, easy reach. I keep most of my makeup downstairs in my little office beauty room, but I like to keep stuff up here because a lot of times I end up just doing my makeup very quickly up here. So all these products that are up here have to be like easy to use, easy reach, never fail me type products. So that's what's in these drawers. Anyway, so that's that. I do have my Laura Mercier loose powder up here because it's too big to fit in the drawer. And then I also have the puff for that behind that, but I never used the puff, but I think it came with one of my powders. So I just keep it there. <laughs> And then over here, I have all my other products. So starting at the bottom, um, this is just 
basically empty, but this is meant to be like eye, eyebrow products. So I have brow pencils, eyelash, uh, like a spoolie, and then uh, mascara. And then in here I have my eyeshadow. So I have two eyeshadow palettes. This one I always keep up here. And then this one I just brought up here. It's super old, it's a master palette by Mario, but it is just a neutral palette. Uh, I can't really open it, but it's no point in showing it. Like it's not available anymore, but I like to just have a bit of a selection, although I don't always do uh, eyeshadow. I like to have some. And this one is just a MAC palette that I made a couple of years ago um that has shades in it that i could use for an everyday eye if i needed to next we have bronzers so i have three bronzers up here and i use different bronzers based on what else i'm doing with my makeup so i do like to have a selection of bronzers and also based on my color and then um, I have blushes here. So this is a little blush palette by NARS. This was limited edition, but it has a peachy blush in here and a, let me see if I can open it. All right, so it kind of looks like a blush bronzer duo, but it's really just two blushes on me. That darker shade is more like a terracotta blush and the other one is more like a peachy pink blush. They're not very pigmented on that particular palette. And then this is a Makeup Forever palette that I made years ago. And you can still make these, but this one has been up here forever. But I have in here a blush and two highlighters. And then at the top, I have a couple lip products. I don't typically put on lip products up here, but I like to have a couple just in case. I don't know why, because I usually put on my lip product and take it with me, but... This, this is what I got going on. I am going to move my, I think I may move my lip mask in here. I usually keep it in a different drawer, um, like with skincare, but I don't know. I may move it here just because this drawer is so empty, but we'll see. But anyway, that's my little setup. Figured I would share it with y'all. And like I said, if I was a regular person, this would probably be enough makeup for me. Um, so if you're trying to get into makeup, you probably don't need any more than this. And this is probably still too much for some of y'all, but... <laughs> I'm not a regular person, so there's that. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I just dropped the kids off at school, headed to Pilates, and I always feel like Wednesdays and Thursdays are pretty hectic in the mornings because Noah has therapy, uh, speech therapy before school. So that means we have to leave our house, go to therapy, come back, go to school. And sometimes it just feels like it's a lot. And it kind of has felt like that today because not only did we do speech therapy, I had to pick up a Target order and a Starbucks while he was at um, while he was at therapy. It's only a 30 minute therapy, but yeah. Um, so I feel like I've been moving a lot this morning, and now um, I'm headed to Pilates, so I'm not. I didn't go home in between. I have a 10 a.m. class, so I am headed there now same thing for me tomorrow so we shall see how that goes but yeah I'm doing pretty good I'd rather get my workout in now as opposed to going to a class a little bit later because I just feel like my day flows better when I get my workout in as soon as the kids go to school or on days when my husband is off if I get it up get my workout in before they go to school then um, that's better as well so anyway just figured I would check in with you all after I leave um, after I leave Pilates I have to take something back to Sephora it's, it's right next door basically to our studio so I'll take something back to Sephora and pick up um, something I have a store pickup from somewhere else at the mall too so I'll probably take y'all with me for that I don't know for Sephora I probably won't because I'm just going to exchange something but I will show y'all what I'm going to exchange for so I'll see y'all in a few. Hey y'all, so it's a little bit later. I'm back home, but I wanted to share with you all what I picked up from Sephora. And one of the items I can just tell you right now, I actually left it upstairs because I'm wearing it now. So let's talk about it first. The item that I went there for to exchange was the Ilia Skin Tint Serum. 
with SPF, I think. I don't remember the name. I will insert a picture for you all. But I had ordered that online and the shade was much too orange, but I did like the texture of it. And I wanted a skin tint with SPF, like a good amount of SPF that I can wear very easily, just like spray it on with my hands. This one got mixed reviews, but it's one that I've been interested in. It's been like on my loves list on Sephora for like over a year at this point. So I went to Sephora to exchange it for another color. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I think this color looks pretty good on me. Although looking online, it looked like it would be too light for me. But in store, I was able to try it on my hand. And I think this is a good match. Hopefully it's still a good match for the summer. We shall see. But so this is what I'm wearing as of right now. It's only been on like... 45 minutes or so and I'm wearing pretty minimal makeup. I did put on uh, concealer underneath my eyes and bronzer and that's it. I didn't even apply any blush or anything. I really just wanted to try this product out while I was at home and I didn't feel like doing the most. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm wearing right now. And that was the thing that I went to Sephora to exchange. So when I ordered that online, I ordered a couple other things. They were having a mascara sale. I think it was buy one, get one half off. And so I picked up two mascaras. The first one is one that I have tried before. This one is from Gucci and it's the Mascara La Obscure. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'll show you the outer packaging, but I don't want to open it because I'm not about to use it right at this moment. It kind of matches my shirt. But I love the packaging on pretty much all of Gucci Beauty products. But yeah, I really like the feel of this, the look of it. Gives that vintage vibe just like their lipsticks. And this one is pretty um, good at lengthening and a little bit of volume, but more so lengthening, which is typically what I shoot for with my mascaras. So I picked this up and then I decided to try a new one. This is from Gwen Stefani's brand. I think it's called Give. But this is the Can't Stop Staring Mascara. And this got really great reviews. And Gwen, I feel like, is kind of known for her red lips and dark, long, thick lashes. So I'm excited to try this out. I probably will try this one first. Again, I'm not going to open it because I don't know that I'm ready to open this mascara yet. And, and the countdown on mascara starts soon as you like introduce air into the container. So I'm not really ready to open that yet. But hoping this works out for me. And then I also ordered a lip mask because the one that I have been putting on at night, I'm actually out. Like I have probably one more use in it, but I wanted to try something different. This is the one from K Skin and it's just called the Deep Water Nourishing Lip Mask. I actually feel like I need to put something on right now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> anyway, this is what it looks like. I really like the packaging. I like this tan color and if i remember correctly i think this is the brand by winnie harlow the model i could be completely wrong but i'm pretty sure this is her brand but it's just a lip mask so i'll have to report back on that one at a later date if i like it or not they also had something going on to get a bunch of samples so that's what this bag is and they sent me a couple other sam samples this is angel nova edt i have not well, I've smelled this one, but I've never actually tried it on my skin, so I'll be that'll be nice. And then they also sent Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar, which seems to be their most popular scent. And I used points to get this tiny Madagascar Vanilla Oil from Nest. This is probably their most popular one. I have smelled in the store. I've been so close to purchasing this a few times, but I just haven't. <laughs> I just haven't. So I saw that this was... 100 point perk and I feel like for oil this is a good amount because I have other oils this is not something that I think I'm going to use on a regular basis but it'll be nice to use sometimes it is a rollerball so this will give me a chance to try it out and see if I want to spend money on the big bottle because I think the big bottle is close to $100 so it's not cheap so this will be nice to try out to see if it actually is something that I want to add to my collection so that's what I ordered online and then in store today, like I said, I exchanged the foundation. And then while I was in there, I also picked up this product, which this is one that I knew I wanted to try, but I wasn't sure. But while I was in there, I just went ahead and swatched it and purchased it. This is a new powder from NARS. It's the Soft Matte Perfecting Powder. I picked it up in the shade High Tide. And I'm going to tell you, when you see this, you're probably going to think it's too light for me, but I did swatch these. And this is a shade that I think is going to work best for me. I 
definitely don't like to get a powder that is darker than me because I find that with powders, they tend to oxidize some. I don't know if this one is, but most powders, I feel like once they hit that oil on your face, they oxidize a little bit and I feel like they end up looking darker throughout the day. And I hate that because I don't want to be walking around looking orange. If I think a shade doesn't match me perfectly, I usually will go very slightly lighter. I do love the packaging. This is really slim. I don't think I realized that online, but this is so slim which I think is going to be perfect to take with me. It doesn't have a brush or anything, so that's that. But that's what the powder looks like. And this is not the darkest shade. I think they have either two or three shades darker than this. So we shall see how this works. I was thinking this would work well with this skin tint that I'm wearing because this is one that's probably better suited for drier skin because it is quite hydrating. Uh, but we'll see how it works on me. I have normal to oily skin, so. Anyway, got that powder. And then I also picked up two of these glosses. I love these glosses from Sephora Collection. These are the Glossed Glosses. And this time I picked it up in the shade Fly, which I'm pretty sure I've heard Andrea Renee talk about before that she really likes. But it's kind of a shimmery brown. And then I also picked it up in Booked, which to me looks like a warm tone brown. It looks actually not as warm in the package as it did in store. So let me swatch these real quick. All right, so that's Fly. This is the shimmery bronze tone one, but it's not too shimmery. I don't like super shimmery glosses, but sometimes a little shimmer is good, especially in the summertime. So there is that one. The other one is called Booked. And I feel like this is not what I swatched in the store. <laughs> I must have grabbed the wrong one, but this is booked and it's looking very mauve now. I think I meant to pick up a different one. Or maybe Sephora had the glosses in the wrong spot, but this is not really what I was looking for, but it's fine. These are like $10. I will definitely use this, but I thought it was more of a warm brown, kind of like um, the Fenty Honey Waffles, which I do have. I thought it was kind of more similar to that. So yeah, anyway, I might as well put it on now. I don't have a mirror near me, so y'all are my mirror. So that's it. I can't really tell what it looks like because I'm just looking at my camera, but I think it's gonna work. It's not, these glosses are not super opaque, so I feel like they're pretty easy to pull off. But yeah, I think I like it. So anyway, that's what I picked up from Sephora. And then while I was out, I also picked up a pair of shoes. It was a store pickup, so I already ordered them online. But they are these, they're from Nike. I actually tried these on in store a couple weeks ago when I was shopping for my kids. But they, I wanted a size up. These are like made very small in my opinion. So I normally wear a size nine in most shoes nine and a half in some shoes so like any slides or sandals i typically go up to a nine and a half or heels i'll usually go up to a nine and a half but with nikes i feel like they're cut pretty narrow so i usually my normal size of nike is normally nine and a half this one i got this is a unisex shoe i got it in a women's ten and a half y'all a ten and a half i tried on a 10 in store before and i thought it was just like a little bit smaller than i wanted so um, yeah, I got a 10 and a half. I've never purchased a shoe this big, but I did try it on in store again today just to make sure and they fit y'all. So I don't know if my feet are getting bigger or Nike shoes are getting smaller. I don't know what's going on, but this one is the one that I went for. My friend actually has these shoes. <laughs> and when I visit her, I saw her wearing them and I felt like I needed them. So <laughs> she doesn't live near me. So it's not like we'll be out wearing them together, but yeah, she inspired me. So hey girl, hey, you know who you are if you're watching. <laughs> So yeah, I had to be like her. I had to be a biter. And I just felt like these would be nice just to wear casually, especially like with jeans and a t-shirt or something like that. These feel quite comfortable. So I do like that about them. I don't love the way like actual sneakers feel, like say sneakers that I meant more so for working out. I don't really love the way those feel too much. They're not the most comfortable to me. The shoes like these are typically more comfortable to me. So yeah, I will link these for you guys if you're interested. If you see them, they usually have men's sizes listed, but some of the sites have women and men's sizes listed. So, you know, do what you do, but it is a unisex shoe. So it has actually both sizes on the box. So size nine in men, 10 and a half in women. 
So yeah, I am about to go ahead and get to some stuff I need to do. I feel like I'm so behind already because just, I don't know. I feel like I was out too long this morning and then I had a call that I wasn't expecting. And so that was another like 40 minutes, which is fine, but I feel like I'm behind the ball now on stuff I need to do around my house. So let me get to it. And I think this is where we're gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. I'm not 100% sure, cause I don't know how much footage I have. I really don't even remember what I filmed. <laughs> But I think we're going to close out the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Have your notification bells on so that you don't miss a video from me. Also, check out my new blog. It's www.simplyaisha.com. And follow me over on Instagram at simply.aisha.blog. All right. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.